How much input should a captain have in, in training? Well, yeah, again, a really good question. Um, well, so, uh, actually, more recently, uh, we had a really good discussion in terms of what our outcomes are for the season. Um, and this season has been really tough. We're playing back-to-back -back games in Wakefield. We're now at the latter end of the first round where we're starting to come up against good teams like Bath, uh, Loughborough, um, you know, Wasps, uh, teams that we know are going to be really hard and they are going to knock our confidence. Um, and so we need to go out there with this uh, winner all cost mentality. Um, so recently, actually, the captains have had, uh, well, uh, the leadership team have had an input in training on what we want to see. Because um, I don't think it heavily, it should, I don't think it should heavily rely on the coaches sometimes. I think we're out there, we're feeling it, we're seeing it um, as players. And I think those opinions are good to have. So recently, we've actually had that input with the coaches and have asked them to set up scenarios in games um, in training, sorry, to, you know, things like feeling the pressure. Um, so maybe putting an overload in um, defence on the attack. So just like things like that um, uh, and getting them to set stuff up for us in training, I think is really important. Um, and having that conversation between coach and player has happened more recently. Sorry, um, leadership team and coaches has happened more recently and I've um, we've got like a little WhatsApp group so I speak to the players as well so the coaches aren't involved in this uh, it's called the player WhatsApp group um, and so I can obviously get feedback from the players in terms of things that they might want to work on uh, defensively attacking and then I take those to the coaches so I'm like the messenger <laughs> so I relay the information between the two. So it sounds like that the, on behalf of the wider team, the, the senior players and, and the leaders have, have had a, a large amount of input into long-term objectives and strategy. Um, and then it's up to the coaches to work on how to do that. Yeah. Talking about people stepping up, um, taking responsibility, talking about people investing uh, their own mindset into, into situations. You've, you've spoken a lot about listening to, to, to certain individuals and some groups. And does this give and take technique of leadership? Does this help, help to promote buy-in to a culture? Does this help to create a team atmosphere? Yeah, I, you know, again, I'm happy to be challenged on it, but I think it does massively. Um, and I always... You know, like, I like to hear the views and opinions of my teammates as well. I, I, I would never take full control of, of a situation or um, my opinion matters and that's it. I like to listen to others and what they think in terms of when we make that final decision. I just think it's really important. Um, and I think the players value that. I think the girls at Storm like the fact that I do ask them. Um, and, you know, we do have that give and take kind of... Uh, situation within Storm um, and I've only had positive we well, you know we're only halfway through the season it might change halfway through the season we don't know in terms of you know pressure starts to build etc um, but at the moment I think it's really working uh, within th that particular group uh, that we have and I think they like being valued that, that their opinions are valued by the leadership team in terms of when we go forward in training or in matches. <laughs> 